Hey guys, I'm Kevin Shaw, Editor-in-Chief of Mopar Connection Magazine. And today, we're gonna try to fish a 1969 Coronet out of this field of trees and grass. Uh, it's been sitting here for a few years, and as is with Tennessee, you leave it unchecked, it'll overgrow and take it right back. And we're looking, these trees are coming right out of the engine compartment. And that's going to be tough because I didn't bring a chainsaw. But we're going to do our best. We're going to try to fish this car out. we got tech editor Mike Wilkins coming with his truck and trailer. And once we clear this all out, we're going to try to get this car back to my house and turn it into something you can actually drive. So uh, we're going to hang tight. We're going to see how this goes. And you can watch the craziness unfold before you. What was the idea here? Well, to be honest, we were tempted with the idea of a free car. We were promised if we could get it out and drag it out of the weeds, it was ours. So, free car, man, how could you say no? Well, unfortunately, I think we're saying no. Um, the picture that we had was taken about six or seven years ago. At that time, car's windshield was in, dashboard was in, center console was still in one piece, the steering column was in. It had doors. Uh, the floors required some patching. Don't get me wrong, the floors were gone, trunk was gone. But uh, it was on four wheels and it was a relatively complete car and so we always knew about it in the back of our head. The lesson is, is that if you know about a car, jump on it. Get on it as quick as you can because unfortunately we got comfortable and <laughs> thought, thought, oh, hey, we'll get to it later, we'll get to it later, we'll get to it later. And now there's very little left. We're gonna show you around. Um, unfortunately, this became kind of a uh, easily accessible trash heap. So the uh, residents, we throw a lot of just random garbage in here. We showed you a sink and some sprayers. We did find the distributor, <laughs> not worth anything. But uh, unfortunately, at one point, the occupants came in and cut out two large sections of the C pillar and the top of the quarters and we knew about it, but we thought maybe we could patch it. Unfortunately, when they sawzalled in, they sawzalled through all the supports for the for the Dutchman panel, which of course helped hold up the trunk. And the whole Dutchman panel bent the quarters and folded in. So structurally, it's completely gone back here. Uh, package tray still stands, but it's cut out. It's been cut through here. It, everything would have to be replaced back here. So structurally, it's a mess. There's no trunk. Um, we can show you in here. Yeah. So, there's not much left there. Tail panel, back bumper look good. Um, because this was a Coronet 500, it was a small block 318 air conditioning automatic car. Uh, we did notice it had the luggage rack. 
There she is. Uh, by the way, every plant here was covered in thorns. This was this was an ugly, ugly bit of, <laughs> of Middle Tennessee weed working. But yeah, our seed pillar is gone. We got, I mean, it's just all gone here. All the lower quarters are rotted out. It really is a disaster area. This unfortunately will live the remainder of its very few days as a parts car. Um, we have really hoped, because again, seven, eight years ago, it wasn't so bad, but because it was buried, it just got locked into a greenhouse and quickly ate everything away. So we're gonna have to pass on the Coronet. Uh, we were really excited. We're still building the motor for what would be this project, but we're gonna find another roller and uh, we'll go from there. Well, after about an hour or two of hacking away at trying to get the Coronet out of the weeds, we quickly realized that this car just wasn't gonna happen. So, a little defeated, we started putting our tools away when tech editor Mike Wilkins let us know about an abandoned 1969 GTX that was just up the way. Curious, we followed Mike down a dirt trail that brought us up to the top of the hill, where, buried underneath the trees, was in fact a real 1969 444 barrel automatic R4 Red Plymouth GTX. Unfortunately, it had suffered some severe frame damage in a car accident a long time ago, and since that time had been a parts car for Mike and other projects that he had over the years. And looking it over, there just wasn't much left to even salvage. So we turned back around and headed towards the trucks. Later that night, we listed both the Coronet and the GTX in a Facebook group and were immediately contacted by an interested buyer. It didn't take long before cash was in Mike's hand and both cars were winched onto trailers. The buyer said he was going to turn the Coronet into a full chassis race car, so I guess we can report that there will be a happy ending to this story. So thanks again, appreciate it. Thanks for reading the magazine. And uh, I'm going to try to pull some of these thorns out of my arms and hands. <laughs>